Hi, I'd like to show you how to use the mid sweep on your mixer to improve your sound. First an explanation and then a live example. There are two mysterious knobs in the middle of the EQ section of your mixer. Have you ever wondered what they're for? Well this is the mid sweep area of the EQ and if you're a sound engineer you'll know all about it but for most people they are a bit of a mystery. Well I'm going to show you an amazing tip that will noticeably improve your sound. And it's easy, which is nice. OK, let's get the technical stuff covered first. We'll be looking at one channel of the mixer at a time. The signal passing through this channel is split into three parts. High frequencies, the mid frequencies and the low frequencies. The top knob here deals with the high frequencies. At 12 o'clock, this knob has no effect on them. Turn it clockwise through 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock and so on, and it's boosting the high frequencies. Turn it anti-clockwise through 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, etc. and it reduces or cuts those frequencies. You've probably played with that and found a position that suits your sound. The bottom knob does the same for the low frequencies. But the mid frequencies are different. The third knob down boosts and cuts like the top and bottom knobs, but it doesn't act over the whole mid-range, and that's where the second knob comes in. This one chooses which part of the mid-range the third knob acts upon. So if I turn the second knob fully anti-clockwise, the third knob will boost or cut the lower end of the mid-range, and Similarly, if I turn it clockwise, the third knob will act on the upper end of the mid-range. OK, how do we use this mid-sweep facility? First, turn the third knob up as high as possible. If you get feedback, turn it down until it's echoey but not feeding back. Then, sweep the second knob from fully anti-clockwise to fully clockwise, listening for when the sound is at its worst. Note that place and sweep around that spot until you have pinpointed it. Now, turn the third knob down to reduce that frequency until it sounds sweetest. And that's it. You're done. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. However little known the feelings or views of such a man may be on his first entering a neighbourhood, this truth is so well fixed in the minds of surrounding families that he is considered as the rightful property of someone or other of their daughters. My dear Mr Bennett, said his lady to him one day, have you heard that Netherfield Park is let at last? Mr Bennett replied that he had not. But it is, she returned, for Mrs Long has just been here and she told me all about it. Mr. Bennet made no answer. Do you not want to know who has taken it? cried his wife impatiently. You want to tell me, and I have no objection to hearing it. The place in the mid-frequency that needs to be reduced will vary from channel to channel and from venue to venue. So every time you set up, run through this process for every channel that you're using. It only takes around 10 seconds per channel, and it will greatly improve your sound. If you found this useful, why not like my Facebook page, or even subscribe to me here on YouTube.